This episode is proudly brought to you by the Kingfisher, Dawa, Pinnacle Fishing Kikes, and Gummy Bait. So good to finally get back out on the water after eight months of uh, no fishing. The bait fish have been quite thick, and uh, following them have been a lot of yellowfin tuna. And a lot of people have been asking me over the last while about my technique where I use a squid jig on the surface. Um, and a lot of the kind of questions have been asked, how fast do you spin it in, what, you know, what do you do? So I've done, a little, I've done a little video here just to show you a little bit about how I catch the tuna with the squid jig. So you'll see me casting it and reeling it in pretty fast. Um, you actually got to skip the squid jig on the surface and the tuna cannot leave that thing alone. So if you get it into the shoal, uh, you, you're more than likely going to get uh, hooked up to a tuna. The funny thing is you do lose quite a lot though because I think they've got quite a lot uh, the squid jigs have uh, some weight on them so when the tuna shake their head the tuna are able to come off quite easily but um, yeah, it's, for me it's the best way to hook a tuna using 50 pound braid and as well as my whole jigging outfit if you look at the description below I'll just put all the info in there for you um, what rods and reels I am using but yeah it's just a squid jig on the surface 50 pound braid and you wind that thing in as fast as you can if you look at the top right corner of the screen, I posted two videos, um, one of how to bleed a tuna, which is very important, uh, and that totally improves the texture and flavour of the meat. And there's also a video there where I've used the squid jig on the surface, and you'll see the sort of hookups I've got, and that's one day, um, the, the particular video that's, that's up there. So I hope you enjoy those. During this outing, something pretty amazing happened, and the camera angle is absolutely perfect. I swam, uh, I paddled up to a a bait ball, and I couldn't. I saw it wasn't tuna; it was something. I didn't really know what it was. I couldn't really make out the fish exactly. So I threw um, a line out at it, pulled it in, and then I realised, oh my goodness, it's snook. So you'll see, I just popped my line over the bait ball, pull it through, and voila! I whacked into this amazing, huge snook. It weighed in just under 10 kilos, uh, my biggest snook ever, and the best part was I got it on a spoon. So you'll see here, just uh, having a little bit of fun with the snook, um, absolutely read me. I think it took me about 10 minutes to land this thing on my flick stick, uh, which is a bit slow <laughs> for my standards. Generally, I've got 50 pound braid and uh, wind the fish in, uh, just to avoid sharks. Um, the, these, the shoal of tuna were actually swimming around a shark. I initially saw the shark just um, playing around in the bait ball and I threw my line in and uh, fortunately got myself one of these awesome, awesome snook. I must say one of my favourite places to fish is still the Kazanin coastline just with such an abundance of, of different species. I wouldn't trade it for anywhere else in the world. Absolutely love where I live. If you want to know anything more about what I've done out on the water, what tackle I've used, techniques, anything, please feel free to comment below this video uh, or if it's on Facebook just uh, write a comment there and I'll, I'll definitely get around to answering that. Um, other than that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to know what else is going on or what I'm up to or my latest videos. That'll be great. Otherwise, like me on Facebook and you'll see the latest updates. Cheers and thanks for watching.